It's me, Bree Reads! Hi friends, it's me, Bree! Today, let's read a Days of the Week story together! Monday by Lucy Branham Illustrated by Kevin M. Barry It's a well-known fact any day of the week is more likable than Monday. Take Sunday, for example. She enjoys taking long naps and relaxing in the quiet before the smash, boom, crash of Monday, from which there is no escape. Monday always comes banging, honking, shouting things like, The weekend's over! Time to go back to school! Get out of bed! Then he expects you to do awful things, like eat soggy cereal and drink pulpy orange juice with a smile on your face. Ugh. But then, Sweet Tuesday follows, she hands out ice cream cones, and she never, ever shouts. Wednesday is also a welcome sight. She happily sends out cards to everyone, announcing that the week is half over. They contain lots of confetti. Thursday hurries, so Friday will come quickly. He hurries to get this done and that done and go here and go there. But sadly, Friday never comes any sooner, despite Thursday's best efforts. Phew! Finally comes Friday, who throws a marvelous party to welcome the weekend. He invites everyone! Uh, except Monday. Saturday fills his hours with fun. Bike riding, pool parties, museum visits, treasure hunts, space exploring, cave exploring, exploring caves in space. You name it, Saturday is planning to do it. With all the other days being so extremely likable, truth is, not even Monday liked himself sometimes. One week, he decided to do something about it. He tried taking a long nap, only to wake himself up snoring several times. He made ice cream cones, but they fell apart, no matter how careful he was. He sent out announcements that the weekend had ended. No one appreciated the reminder. He tried to go by quickly, but all the running around tired him out and made him cranky. He threw a party and invited everyone, except Friday. But nobody came, so he ate cake alone. He made all sorts of plans, but then it rained, and he had a flat tire, and he lost his space cave maps so he ran out of time to do anything fun. After all these mishaps, Monday came up with a new plan. He just wasn't going to show up the next week at all. Chaos ensued. Sunday overslept. Everyone missed a whole day of work and school. So. Tuesday came as a bit of a shock, and for once, no one was glad to see her. She was stuck with a bunch of melting ice cream cones. Since Wednesday wasn't in the middle of the week anymore, she wasn't sure if she was closer to the start of the week or the end of it. She sent out no announcements, so no one else knew for sure either. Friday figured that it was his turn by now and threw an amazing party. But no one came because they didn't realize it was Friday. Suddenly, it was Saturday, but he didn't have anything planned. Oh, and poor Thursday was skipped altogether. He felt very left out. 
By the time Sunday came back around, she was so afraid of another week of chaos that she skipped her nap and marched right to Monday's house and knocked on the door. Monday peeked out. Go away! No, said Sunday. I'm not leaving till you come back. She sat down on the porch steps. Monday stayed where he was. Sunday stayed where she was. It looked like it was going to be Sunday forever. Monday paced back and forth. He didn't want to continue being an unlikable day, but he was just nothing like the other days. He was just himself. Loud, unavoidable, trouble. Monday peeked back out at Sunday. She didn't look relaxed at all. She looked a lot like him, in fact. Impatient, grouchy, stubborn. Monday realized that his fellow days needed him. So he retook his proper spot in the week. And everyone agreed that Monday was just as special and needed and likable as any other day of the week. The end. Thank you for reading with me today, friends. How do Mondays make you feel? Mm hmm. Uh, do you have a favorite day of the week? <laughs> now, friends, you can find me on Instagram. And please subscribe to my channel for more books and more fun. See you next time. Bye bye.